Rafa. Third major final this year. Fifth U.S. Open final. 27th major final of your career. What are you most pleased with tonight? Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Tom. I think um, first set have, have been a little bit frustrating uh, because I had a lot of red points, I think, before that tiebreak, and you don't want to be in a tiebreak against a player like Mateo after having a lot of red points for you, and he, he didn't have, he doesn't have no one. So in the tiebreak, I, I was a little bit lucky, you know, because with 5-2 and 4-0, uh, you know, the thing had been... Uh, <laughs> for him almost 100 percent but uh, I survived at that moment and then I think uh, I started to finally I had a break after a lot of chances in the second and after that the match completely changed you know, I think I started to play with more calm uh, playing a little bit more aggressive and you know I'm super happy to be back in the final of the US Open. <laughs> There was a lot of talk about your competitive fight and spirit heading into this match down 4-0 in the tie break ultimately having to save a couple of set points. What do you tell yourself. What's going through your mind in those moments Rafa. Well I just tried to to stay uh, to stay focused on the next point because um, you know you see 4-0 you see things very far but uh, my goal was to win that point with my serve 4-1 uh, and then try to win at least one of uh, the next two points uh, on the return no? because then if you are able to to keep winning the, the next two you are 5-4 so the pressure stays in, in his side. So uh, I don't know sometimes uh, works sometimes not works uh, today uh, I was lucky to, to, to win that first set and yeah I want to I don't want to, to forget to say congrats to Matteo no? he's young he has everything and uh, he will become a a great player. He already is one of the best players of the world. He has a great, a great future in front. So all the very best for him and all his team. And now in the final, you get another young, great player who's had a spectacular summer. He's lost one final, and that was to you. When you think about Daniil Medvedev, what's the challenge? Well, he's one of the more solid players on tour. No, he's uh, he's making steps forward every single week, uh, having an amazing summer, winning Cincinnati, playing the final in Montreal, Washington, and uh, now the final here. No, so um, you know, he's the player that is playing better today on on tour during this summer. So um, will be the toughest opponent in that final. So I, I need to be playing at my best, as always. Uh, in a Grand Slam final, you can't expect an easy opponent. So. Uh, you need to play your best in the final of, of, of the U.S. Open and uh, you know that for me it means a lot to be back where I am today after uh, some tough moments at the beginning of the season. So I uh, just can say thank you very, very much everybody for the support. have been amazing during the, the ball weeks and I hope to see you on Sunday. <laughs> Finally, Rafa, we're going to see Serena. 20 years after she won her first title out here playing tomorrow for you 14 years after winning your first major you're in a final what's the secret what sustains you <laughs> I don't know uh, secret is probably just the passion and, and love for for what you are doing no? uh, you know, uh, it's impossible to to have a, a successful, a long, and very long career if you really don't uh, love what what you do. And I think Serena, of course, uh, is amazing what she's doing. Uh, all the very best for her. I think she deserves after all the things that uh, she's fighting, she's facing to to be back and win again here will be amazing for her. All the very best of luck for for her and for me personally. You know, it's just uh, another chance on Sunday, you no? Know, and I, I want to enjoy the, the day of tomorrow. Try to have a good practice, and just tomorrow Sunday is the is the day to to play my best. Through to the final, Rafael Nadal. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>